Hello, Buzz Golds! My name is Hotsus T, and their names are Ari, Gosman, Rowan, and Stinky. And we are back in our small colony here on a frosty planet. Uh, where last time we did a bit of uh, electro wiring. Uh, which means we can now have a second farm here and this in turn is good news because with the second farm we should produce enough food for more than just four uh, duplicates so should anything good come out of the portal we can take it but as you have seen uh, most of the things here are cold and um, I have been thinking maybe we need a, a different way of uh, dealing with the cold so what I thought we could do is um, We could have a bit of um, isolation wall going there and we will probably want Ladders there, and then dig this part out because that basically then connects this wall to this wall, and we could try to move out the hot gold through the isolated wall uh, and then basically snake uh, the warm gold through our base before finally dumping it here on the side. Not sure if, uh, if, that, if that actually uh, works but at least it is a plan. So I think we have to uh, uh, let duplicates first complete this part here. They are hard at work. So it should not take too long. And uh, once that has happened, we can look how to proceed. Now with all the isolated walls uh, put in place here, we can now think about uh, shipping. Uh, what I think we need here is pickup station. This should go like this, and that requires some power, I would assume. So, let's do this, and then we need shipping rail. Um, What shall we use? Aluminium or copper? Uh, let's use copper at least here outside the base and inside the base where we want to actually heat things up 
think we will pull it down to here for now. Because then we can move it over here, snake it through here, and then back down through this garden. And I am not sure if um, uh, this will work uh, for for temperature wise, or it will it will melt. Taking heat damage because it's a smidge on the on the warm side in here. So what we want to load here is refined metal, gold. And then over on this side. Heating, which means we uh, basically need steel. Um, and I would assume that we have not researched the, the refinery for that. If I can find it in here, there it is. So let's do that and uh, then maybe we can set this up um, with steel, which should be a bit more resistant to the, to the heat here. A good portion of the shipping rail is already laid in and they are still working on it. But we finished the research. So um, uh, let's put uh, the refinery up here. And hook it up. I think on this line we do not have too many uh, uh, appliances, so it should be good. And this should generate a bit of, um, um, of heat. Um, Need 
Something too cool. So, how do we do this? Um. We use set up like this, and then. Uh, this is the intake. Goes like this. Goes like that. And then we can have something like this. And, uh, have a bit of water in there. Water is not the, the best thing here because it will get hot very quickly. It will turn to steam and that will break the pipe. But Better than nothing. And seeing that the, the temperatures here on the outside are really uh, on the on the cold side, maybe it will work up to the point where we get the steel that we need. And then we will eventually have to to have a, a different setup. Now that we have a bit of iron, uh, we want to make steel, but for that we need a kiln uh, because we need a bit of uh, of uh, refined carbon. And if we look here. The, uh, the pipes, they are war warm. And if we have a look at uh, the, the liquid in here, uh, the water is at um, around 50 degrees. I think... We can break this uh, this bridge here because the, the container is almost full. So let's queue up maybe 500 kilograms of um, steel and uh, while we are at it we will produce uh, uh, ceramics as much as we can because ceramics is a pretty good isolator and with all the cold here on this asteroid that might come in handy So, I think our line is complete. So, all we are now really waiting for is uh, the, the, the steel so we can um, actually build this out of steel. So it's uh, a bit more resistance to the heat. And now it has happened, the pipe broke, but we got a smidge of steel out of it. So let's try if 
this actually uh, works out better. We also need a conveyor loader out of steel. to build that out of steel. Steel, steel, yes. And due to the leakage, we have a bit of uh, water all over the base. Not nice, but it's not the end of the world. And so far, we have not managed to get a duplicate um, that we want to have. Um, I think just looking at what we what we have here. Um, we have a farmer, we have a digger, we have a researcher, operator, builder, we have an artist and a cook, so I think oh, we would need to have a doctor uh, with something on the side. Because seeing we have quite a few duplicates uh, that visit the, uh, the hospital beds here. So having a doctor might be beneficial in, in that regard. As you can see, steel is still not good enough. Um, if we have a look at the... Uh, gas temperatures it's above 200 degrees uh, but at least what I saw what does work is uh, the gold that is shipped here through the through our base is cooled down so that uh, when it ends up here it is at around 10 degrees Celsius, which means all the heat it gave up uh, to our base. And we can see here, uh, slowly, we are no longer completely blue. And of course here, where we are heating uh, for way longer already, um, that also has an effect. So. On here, on this side, we can have a look at temperatures. You can see here the the carbon dioxide. That's that's really a bit on the on the warm side. So what I think what we could do is have um, a lock here on this side, and then make this in here a, a vacuum. Uh, so that would mean that the heat uh, that is produced by the uh, volcano is not transmitted and we do not take damage there. But that's definitely a project for another time. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next time. Goodbye.